Hey guys, so I've had a lot of people ask me, why in the heck are you building your own plane? Um, it's, it's actually a tough question to answer. So there's, there's a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of uh, uh, topics there. I think for most people when they ask that question, because it comes out in a conversation like, oh yeah, I'm building my own plane, and people get this horrified look on their face. I think those people don't understand a lot of things. And in fact, quite often, I believe that the, they immediately think of, you know, that I'm building a plane using duct tape, balsa wood, and spit, right? You know, they, I'm going to the Home Depot aviation department and, uh, b you know, putting together a hodgepodge of parts that basically I'm building my own coffin. I think that's what people have in their mind. Other people that are in the know, or other people that are at least aviators of some sort, understand that you can build a very high quality aircraft. And so I kind of have to discount the first set because right there you, you have to start from the very beginning and, and explain. I mean, most people would never consider building their own car, even though you can. Um, but when you have somebody who's been flying for a while, or even a student pilot, who's never owned their own plane, and they ask, why are you building your own plane? It's, uh, it's a different conversation. So for me, uh, it's about two things, mission and costs. Those are probably the primary two. I would add a third one of comfort. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big guy, and as a six foot two, 280 pound man, trying to lose weight, um, it's, it, it, comfort is a huge one and you know well, 172 I fly like this and it's not real comfortable so comfort is is a concern for me um, I am a maker I create things I like to build things it's fun uh, I need to build things and this process has been amazing I have enjoyed building this plane more than I ever thought I would and it makes a lot of sense what I do for a living is software engineering. I, I, I twiddle bits. I push code. You know, what I do during the day is a lot of, of typing text, you know, in a text editor. And at the end of the day, I have nothing, nothing physical, right, to put my hands on and say, I did this today. That's a, that's a job satisfaction problem. <laughs> um, now that I've transitioned from less of a coder and more of a manager, I have a whole bunch of employees, I'm doing even less of that. Like I figured out how to get enjoyment out of coding and get that gratification that I needed, even though it wasn't physical, it was still you know, a, a, a gratification. And now that I'm doing managerial work, well, that gratification went out the window. So I had to find a new form of gratification. And this has been it. Um, at the end of the day, I can point to this and say, I did this today. So for me, that was a huge one too. That's another really important one. Having that, having the, the gratification of, of making, of constructing something. I think my ice maker is about to beep. Um, <clears throat> Cost-wise, so that's, that's the next thing. One of the, one of the common questions is, why would you build a plane as opposed to buying one? Uh, well, for this particular aircraft, so again, this is the Vans RV-10. For this particular aircraft, a comparable airplane would probably be either the Cessna Corvallis or a Cirrus SR-22. Those planes are three quarters of a million dollars uh, base, right, and up from there. You know, for... 125 to 150 thousand dollars, you can build an RV-10 that will, if not outperform, come real close to outperforming both those other aircraft. And I think people don't realize that I can build just as good an airplane as someone at Cessna. I mean, those Cessna aircraft are being built by people, you know, so why couldn't I do it? So that's the big thing is, is cost-wise, I mean, $750,000 up uh, for a new Cirrus. And I'm not bashing Cirrus, they make a wonderful product. 
uh, or $125,000, $150,000 for my own. That's kind of a no-brainer, right? Um, so cost-wise, building your own plane is infinitely less expensive. Upkeep, even if you go used, by the way, let me cover that. So a used, uh, we'll, we'll stay with Cirrus, used Cirrus SR22 Turbo is probably still a hundred and... Sure, it might be $250,000, you know, maybe three, I don't know. It ain't cheap. Again, great aircraft, but I have a new one of these for the same price with a lot more stuff, completely kitted out and outfitted how I want it to be built, et cetera, et cetera. Um, plus, you have the advantage of knowing every single rivet in the plane. So in many ways, I'll be, I think, I'll be much more comfortable in my own aircraft than I would be in an aircraft that somebody else built because I trust it. I, I know it. And if something goes wrong, I did it, right? Uh, so let's see. Other things to think about cost-wise are maintenance. If you build your own aircraft, uh, maintaining the aircraft is, is infinitely cheaper because you don't have to get a certified mechanic to work on your aircraft. You, you do it. You do everything. All the annuals and everything, you do it. Uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's, that saves a bunch of money right there. Hangar is going to cost what a hangar costs. So the price is the same there. Uh, gas is going to cost what the gas costs uh, with the, you know, the different engines will have slightly different fuel burns. But, you know, there's not much you can do there. Uh, with some... With some uh, home-built aircraft, you can, of course, change the engine and, you know, change it up or try different things. That's the beauty of home-builts. And so you can maybe get uh, fuel savings by using a different engine or something that isn't quite as powerful or you burns a different type of fuel or, you know, diesel versus whatever. You know, there's lots of different options, lots of things you can play with there. Uh, so, so there's the thing. The question I, I get a lot is, why didn't you just buy a, a Cessna? Uh, or whatever. Um, and, I, and I've thought about it. I've thought long and hard. Actually, I was looking at a diamond for a long time, like a DA-40 or something like that. Uh, I really like a DA-42, and now with the new DA-62, what a sexy machine. I would love to have one, but it's almost $2 million. I don't have that kind of money, right, for one of those. Even a used DA-40 is over hundred grand right now. Like a... Like a, a um, Gently used and in good condition, reasonably priced, reasonably outfitted, not a lot of time on the engine, etc. Could be one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars. So, in the end, <clears throat> building my own plane is much cheaper because it's a lot less money. In in the primary, it's less money, but in the main, the other thing to consider is time. I'm, I'm getting my language all confused and befuddled, but the other issue is is time. I'm trading time for money, right? It's going to take me, I figured, five years to build this plane. In five years, would I have had the 750 to 800, whatever, thousand dollars for the same plane? So like a Cirrus, the Cirrus SR22. No, no, I don't think I would have. Uh, you know, could I afford a Cirrus right now? Yeah, but I would basically be sleeping in it. I mean, it would, I'd have to sell everything and sleep in my plane. That's not feasible. But if I built this in three years, the majority of this plane is going to be paid off. Because that's another beauty, is each kit you're buying in small chunks, right? So I'm paying $15,000, or well, it was, it was uh, about five or six or seven thousand dollars, I think, for the empennage and the tooling and everything. And then it was 12 for the wings. And then the, I think the fuselage is 15. And then, you know, et cetera. Well, each time I'm buying them, I'm paying cash. So that empennage is paid off. These wings are paid off. I don't have enough to buy the fuselage yet, but I will by the time these are done and it will be paid off. So I'm, that's another beautiful thing because you're pay, taking five years to buy it, you're paying it off in much smaller pieces. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do the engine yet. Uh, you know, the, the Lycoming IO540 or O540, whatever I end up getting, TIO540. 
Uh, that's going to be $40,000. I mean, that's going to be a big hit. So that one I'm going to have to figure a loan or something to pay for that. But that's the only, that's the loan. Ultimately, the loan of the entire, the plane itself will be worth more than that loan. So at that point, I mean, it's just easy, right? I, I'm going in circles. So long story short, why do I build? Because I love the process more than I thought I would. I needed that out. I like to build things I like to create. The filming thing is new. I'm enjoying that too. Is it cheaper to build versus buy? Monetarily, infinitely so. Uh, temporally, not so much. Time-wise, it takes a heck of a long time to build. I am told by everyone, by the way, that when you build one, you will build a second and probably a third. You know, my buddy Lynn, he has built five, four, built a bunch. Jim, a couple of the other guys, they've built dozens of planes. I mean, there's a lot of, lot of uh, RV people out here, and that's really cool. And repeat offenders is what they call them on the forums. A lot of repeat offenders out here. I've already kind of been kicking around what my next plane will be. We can talk about that later. But uh, so monetarily, it's cheaper. Uh, Maintenance-wise, it's cheaper. From a just a coolness standpoint, it's cheaper. You can actually, at the end of the day, go, that's what I did. And other people, those people that I was talking about in the beginning who think you're building it out of balsa wood and spit are amazed. And in fact, some of them won't believe you. Um, I've shown pictures of this and they're like, you built that? Um, which I don't know, that's like a statement of my, what they thought I could do, which was kind of offensive. <laughs> uh, the biggest thing is time. It takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time. And can you build this? Absolutely. If I can build this stuff, you can. Especially with the RV-10 where they do all the hard work for you. They do all the shaping for you. They do all the match drilling or the hole, holes for you. And you just have to do match drilling. It's very much like IKEA. Put tab A in slot B. Um, I would say the 10 is that way. And I think some of the, like the 9 and the 8s are that way. But if you go back to like the old 3s, as I understand with those plans, or at least years ago, I'm not sure how it is today, but years ago, they gave you like the plans and a shovel and pointed you to a pile of bauxite and said, okay, start, start making your own aluminum. Uh, you know, and it, it was a lot harder. So I'm getting out. So nowadays it's so easy. Why wouldn't you? If you have the stick to itness to build your own plane, you're going to be so much so much more satisfied by building your own plane versus just buying one. Uh, I will appreciate this plane so much more and just love it and I, I can't wait. Um, would I like to buy a plane? Yes. Uh, can I afford to buy a plane? Yeah. But probably not buy a plane and build the plane that I want to build. So yeah, I hope that answers your questions. I'm kind of talking in circles at this point. It's an awesome prospect. It's an awesome thing to do. You have to look real deep inside to see if it's something that you feel you can do because it is a long-term project. It is not quick. It is not easy. Uh, and yeah, you could easily just go buy a plane. You could buy a used kit too. That's the other thing. Uh, there are people out there that are trying to sell kits. They get into a, you know something. They get halfway through it and they realize, you know what? This isn't for me. Buy their kit. I would say, though, if you're going to do that, uh, take somebody with you to, to overlook it. If you've never done a kit before, uh, take someone with you to buy the kit so you can actually look at see how they've done it because there's a good chance that's a kit you don't want to buy. Uh, like next time I, I buy a plane, like if I go into building another plane, I'll start looking at used kits, you know, people that have gotten halfway through an empennage or something and just gave up because now I know what to look for. Uh, whereas previously, the reason I didn't buy, there were several that were, you know, empennages that were, uh, ready to go that I did not buy them because I didn't know what I was looking for and I, it could have been anything and so Yeah, it, it's it's cool uh, You can buy a plane, but building one's just better <laughs>